Your name Robert commented on one of the videos asking to create a multi-level navigation in DirectX 9 so that you can consume it through the API and that way create a navigation on the front end. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a perfect no-code way of doing this, so I don't think that Robert will be very pleased with the result since he already knows about this method. Sorry Robert. However, I think this is a good enough way to create multi-level navigation. It's not perfect by any means, but it's good enough if your site or app does not heavily depend on multi-level navigations with a lot of levels. But if you need a way to allow users of your backend to create navigations like main navigation, footer navigation, maybe navigation on a sidebar with two or three levels, this way of doing things is going to be more than adequate. Let me show you how. For this demo I'm using DirectX version 9.14.5 but I guess this method should work on any version that supports repeater fields. First of all I will create a collection called menus. This collection is going to have only two fields, one is going to be called titles so that we can name our menus and so that we can filter them by name on the front end. The other field is going to be our repeater field and that is where we are going to define our menu items. Let's create a repeater field, give it a name of menu items. Now let's create two fields for the repeater, they are going to be called label and URL and both are going to be just strings with input interface. And by just doing this we created a system for single level navigation. However, we want a multi level navigation, so let's create one more field and this one is going to be of type JSON with a repeater interface. We are going to call it submenu and it is also going to consist of two fields called label and URL. And I think you can see where I'm going with this. If you need three levels you would add one more repeater here and so on. Of course, if you need unlimited levels and you depend on that functionality, then maybe it's best to try to find the code based solution for this problem. But from my experience, two or three levels are going to be enough for at least 90% of the cases. Ok, let's save this and test it out. Now we go to menus, create new, add a title of main navigation and then on menu items you click create new and start creating your menu items. The first one is going to be home and it's going to be only a single level. The second one is about and here we are going to add a few sub items. And let's create one more called contact which is going to be single level item. And that's it. Let's see how this is going to look when we try to get the menus from the API. First we go to the roles and permission, click on public and allow everyone to be able to see our navigations. Now go to items, menus and here we can see how this looks in JSON format that we can consume on our front end. One nice thing is that we can re rearrange the items in the backend and that will reflect on our data. So now we have home, contact and about. You can do the same thing with submenu items. Nice. So anyway, this has been it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.